get it because the vampires. <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe. Hello, everyone, especially my 52 subscribers. Today we are back with more of the Bunker Boy Challenge. Unfortunately, if you recall last episode, um, it doesn't look like Val's going to make it. So, I have an idea for how he will meet his uh, end. So, let's play. All right, so we got both our boys just kind of chilling outside. I'm going to move this over a little bit. Just try and even that out. All right, so they're talking. Perfect. Um, but babe, um, but babe, I have a look at that smile on his face. Yeah, I have an idea. Something that I'm thinking I want us to do. Uh-huh, Kafloof. Oh. And he said yes. <laughs> Perfect. So, now they are engaged. Ah, let's see the new sentiment. Sentiment. Wow, I said that strangely. Open sim profile. All right. Adoring. Deeply in love. I think that's the new one, deeply in love. Some romantic moments leave a powerful impression, and Valentine will never forget how he fe how he fell even deeper in love with Caleb. Oh, they're so cute. But now we real quick gotta plan a wedding. So, all right, wedding. I don't really care about it being a gold event. A wedding doesn't make a marriage, but it sure can help kick things off the right way. Why wouldn't it let me do it? I don't have enough money for a wedding. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. We need $1,000 for a wedding. Um, how can I really quick get $1,000? I'm going to start harvesting. I'll be right back. Um, if I somehow manage to pull this off, I'm going to be real upset that I didn't have more money earlier on. So, we have 20 daisies. Oh, God. We are not gonna have enough. Some sage. Some strawberries. Chrysanthemums. Uh, alabaster? Okay. <laughs> Common upgrade parts. Uh, all right, let's, how much would these be just to sell them as is? 210 each or 210 altogether? 130. I should have just sold them all together. Uh, but I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost enough. $20 for that. And then how much for the map? Ooh. 80. Yeah, we'll just sell the map. Okay, I'm about a hundred and i I'm about hundred and seventeen dollars away from being able to do this. Oh, are my plants ready to harvest? Some of them are. Harvest all. All right, my love. Caleb. My livy love. Yeah, he'll be right over it. There he is. Wow, he works fast. Part of being a vampire. All right, now let's plan a wedding event. Perfect. I don't care about it being a gold event because my goal is to be married. We are going to have this at the Wolfsbane Manor. I love that I just happen to be wearing my True to You shirt to do this episode. All right. Perfect. Um, I don't think there's an arch here for us to get married under. So, and my groom is over here. Uh huh. Get married to Caleb. Uh -huh. oh. We're just getting married in front of the bathroom. Totally casual. Uh -huh. Is anybody even watching? Uh, Robbie, for a second. 
Oh. What a beautiful ceremony. They're exchanging vows. I love a happy wedding. <laughs> Perfect. They're married. Honey, now that we're married, was that really a get to know option? Anyways, now that we're married, can you do something for me? Vampires? You know those things? I know that you're one. Can I be one? Please? He's doing it. He's doing it. Ooh. Okay. And there's like no one watching this happen, right? Oh my god, including us. Oh, okay. Okay. I feel like I missed most of that because I tried having the walls up. <laughs> Which was always my downfall. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll become vampires in a couple days. And it looks like I really have to go to the bathroom, I really have to eat, and I have a strange hunger. So, we'll cut the wedding cake, because that's always cute and fun. Then we'll use the lavatory. And... I might just kind of... Uh, apparently, Amelia wanted to be the entertainment. <laughs> uh-huh. So I wonder how long it actually takes to uh, become a vampire. Oh, hello. See, spontaneous romance like that, it's what keeps relationships... Semi alive. Get it, because the vampires. <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe. So I'm pretty much just going to let everybody do their thing until he becomes a vampire, which could take days. All right, wedding is almost over. Would you like to move in together now? Yes, yes, I would. And I'm going to be moving to his abode. Okay. Sell a lot on lot furnishings. For all the Sims are if all the Sims are transferred out, all the household's belongings will be sold or transferred to the new. Uh, I guess just sell them. Okay, so Val is now moved out of his home. Uh, everything was auctioned off at an estate sale because uh, yeah, he's uh, he's presumed to no longer be a part of the land of the living. No, you cannot come over. We're trying to wait for me to turn into a vampire. <gasps> oh! Uh, okay. Couldn't wait to feed? Recently bitten? Ow, it hurts. I didn't think they could still feed from me. If, uh, if I was turning. I can't believe my new husband just, uh, forcibly fed from me. Oh, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. He's transformed into a vampire. Overwhelming thirst for other Sims plasma. Okay. Well, I honestly thought there'd be a little bit more than that, but yeah. Okay, so yeah, guys, this is the end. This is the end of the series. Um, unfortunately, I didn't make Bunker Boy uh, Quarantine Edition happen quite right. Yeah, unfortunate as it was, um, 
I was really hoping I could do this challenge and get at least further than, like, six episodes. But, yeah, I don't know. Um, I do think that I'm going to retry this challenge, at least the Bunker Boy part of the challenge, uh, maybe not Quarantine Edition, because this was really challenging. Um, I didn't even get to really start construction of the bunker, aside from, like, the airlock. So, probably going to retry this. Um, probably going to... Uh, just take out some of the quarantine rules um, and make it just the goal to have a multi-million dollar bunker. <sighs> but I hope you guys liked that that ending. Um, Val got to be with Caleb. He got transformed. So yes, he technically did pass, but he gets to live on and be, ha or exist on, I guess, and be happy. So yeah, just nice little way to sort of wrap up the story. So if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and leave a like. Comment below if you thought the ending was cute, if it was a nice way to sort of um, wrap up this like kind of, I know, morbid series. When I started it um, and when I recorded a majority of the episodes, I actually had COVID and so this was sort of a way for me to just sort of feel better about it and feel like I was a little bit more in control of it. Um, and even when, you know, Val ended up getting sick and yada yada, it still made me sort of feel like I was having fun with it. Uh, because I got to, you know, do things like this, like create an ending where, you know, even the worst case scenario still had a had a good ending. But uh, but yeah, so subscribe if you're new to the channel, or if you're not new and just haven't subscribed yet, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!